If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 17 verse 20. Having a baby is one of the most priceless and joy-filled moments. However, most women after giving birth experience an excessive amount of hair loss or shedding. This is called postpartum hair loss. So if you're a mom or looking to be a mom soon, you need to know this. So keep watching. channel new growth naturals my name is samantha i am a natural hair specialist that specializes in natural hair care and natural hairstyle in this video i'll be sharing with you my personal experience with postpartum hair loss and also from a professional perspective how you can prevent and also treat postpartum hair loss also i'll be sharing with you a super potent natural recipe that you can use on your postpartum bald patches or hair loss and this will help you to regrow your hair really fast postpartum hair loss hmm. don't worry i've got your answers this is hair loss after pregnancy in sudden shedding or in clumps of the hair Hormones are the biggest reason for your pregnancy hair changes and postpartum hair loss. Your estrogen and progesterone levels soar. Estrogen especially has a powerful effect on multiple systems of the body, including your skin sebaceous glands and also the underlying growth pattern of your hair. Hair grows, it rests and it falls hair to enter and stay in that growth phase. So hair grows faster and in turn sheds less. After labor, these hormones fall drastically and this transition the follicles from their growth phase into the resting phase. And hence why you are experiencing excess hair loss and shedding because your hair is falling out in clumps after all of these hormones suddenly drop or just return to what it was before you got pregnant. So after having your baby, you notice like about two to three months after or six months after your hair is shedding excessively, not to worry, this is perfectly normal. It's just because of your hormones. So when I was pregnant, I noticed that I didn't have much as much shedding as I used to before. But after having a baby, I noticed that my hair was shedding excessively. And especially in the top of my head, right up here in my crown area, I had a lot of bald patches. And even to this day, my hair is still on the thinner side in this section. It has increased drastically because of a treatment that I have made myself and I've been using on my scalp that has increased my hair growth to re-enter the growing phase. The thing that I noticed with my hair is that my edges went. It's like somebody took a scissors and cut along my edges. And when my hair started growing back, it grew on one level. And that's the effect. That's when I actually noticed that my <laughs> that's when I actually noticed that my edges were gone because when it started growing back, it was on one level, and I was like, my hair is falling, but it had already gone. <laughs> it's just that I've been busy, so busy with this baby that I haven't really noticed that my edges were gone as well. Then again, my edges were always thick, so possibly why I didn't notice. Here's what you can do to prevent excessive amount of shedding after giving birth. First, you need to continue taking your prenatal vitamins. And just in case you weren't taking prenatal, that's okay. You can eat foods that are rich in zinc, vitamin A, and also B vitamin, like eggs, nuts, and grains, and a lot of seeds. These foods will in turn help to rejuvenate your hair follicles and bring your hair back into the growth phase much quicker. Another thing that you want to practice is to be excessively gentle with your hair. I mean, instead of brushing your hair and combing your hair consistently, do a protective style. Do a style where you don't have to constantly comb your hair. Ensure that your style that you're doing is not tight because your hair follicle is really weak and it will prevent your hair from falling out that drastically at once. You want to go ahead and do mild protective styles. Finally, here's a recipe that you can use to regrow your postpartum ear loss very quickly. To make this awesome recipe, here's what you need. Some ginger, some rosemary, and a glass container. This one I had some olive oil in before. So what I'm doing is basically grater in my ginger. 
and I'm not using any particular measurement I'm just using enough to make the amount of oil that I that I need to make ginger may help to increase hair growth by increasing blood flow to the hair follicles ginger is packed with many vitamins minerals and fatty acids that also contribute to strengthening your hair strands to combat hair loss and ginger also contributes to restoring moisture lo loss from your hair ginger also has a natural antiseptic properties that provide alleviation from dandruff so if you have itchy scalp or dandruff go ahead and use this ginger recipe also on your scalp So once you're done grating your ginger, go ahead and add it to your glass container. I'm adding mine to my mason jar. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some rosemary. As I said before, you don't need a particular measurement. I'm just eyeballing this. Just enough to do this particular portion that I'm going to do to last me for a while. So I'm just picking off the leaves of the rosemary. And rosemary is packed with so many health benefits for your hair and scalp. Using rosemary oil is great for the hair and scalp. It not only stimulates blood flow and helps to keep the hair in the growth phase for a longer period of time, but also it fights against premature grain and dandruff. So I'm adding a little coconut oil to my mixture. My hair doesn't love coconut so much, but my scalp does. It has wonderful benefit for my scalp. And I'm mostly going to be adding extra virgin olive oil to this mixture. And you want to ensure that all your herbs and your ginger is covered with oil totally. And once you add your oils, you're going to go ahead and shake this mixture up to ensure that it's mixed thoroughly. And there's two methods of doing this. You can put it in a double boiler where you put a pot on the stove with water, allow it to boil, and then you put your container in the pot with your mixture, turn down your stove at least for 30 minutes and allow it to cool afterwards, and then you can add it to your hair. You do not rinse this off. I prefer to put mine outside in a sunny spot for four to five weeks, and then afterwards use to the mixture. So this is what the mixture looks like afterwards. So what I'm going to do now is strain it. So I'm going to use a strainer to strain this mixture. And this smells so good. The first time I did this, I didn't expect that it would have smelled so good, especially if you have it out for a long period of time. But the ginger with the rosemary and coconut oil and olive oil combination smells so awesome. So as you can see, I'm using a spoon to press the oil from my mixture. I don't want to waste anything. And then I'm going to use an applicator bottle. So the applicator bottle is going to give me easier access to my scalp. It's easier to work with. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. So if you're using this mixture for postpartum hair loss, you want to go ahead and use it at, like, at least three times for the week. Also, you can use this mixture for thinning here if you lost your hairline or if you have certain form of alopecia you can also use this but whatever products you're using in order to get great results you have to ensure that you are being consistent so i'm just applying it to my scalp now my hair is in plaits as you can see for this challenge i'll be wearing my hair in plaits for three long months and as you can see, the top of my head is still a little bit thin, but trust me, if you had known what it looked like before, you'd cry, thank God, because it has come a far away. So once you add your oil in, you're going to go ahead and massage it in for a little while. And if you can't massage your scalp, get somebody to massage it, because scalp massages are just great, <laughs> even when you're doing it for yourself. So once I'm through massaging my scalp, I let it sit on my hair. I do not rinse it off. And notice I'm doing this while my hair is in plaits. But if your hair is out, it's the same procedure that applies. I'm going to show you what my hair and scalp look like in the middle or at the top, I should say. So this is what it looks like in the top of my head. It has, the growth has significantly increased since I had postpartum hair loss. This is before I had baby. Even though I plant my hair tiny, you could see that my scalp was full. This is after baby. You could see the thinness on my scalp and my plaits became really thinner, even though they grew longer. This is my edges gone. And right here now, you can see a bald patch in the top of my head. I had several of those, which is regrowing, as you can see. This is my bundle of joy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.